the king, the king of kings, there is only one. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game! <laughs> Alright, all you past King of the Hill champions, next time you visit King of the Hill, ask Sean for your very own The King Is Here bag tag. Every past champion of Sean's tournament's King of the Hill will receive their bag tag. That's right. We're making it official so you have the proper bragging rights with your friends. This will also entitle you to special offers and promotions from Sean'sTournaments.com and AboveAllBowling.com. So check the all-time champions list on seanstournaments.com in the King of the Hill section. So the next time you hit the lanes, make sure you let everyone know that the King is here. Alright, we're here for King of the Hill week number 12. We're on the 40-foot pyramid pattern. Seanstermans.com, above all bowling.com, and Zoppo.com. This is the number two seed, Eric Gackle, looking for his first King of the Hill title. Eric made the finals a couple years ago, finished second, shot 103 on the TV finals. Hopefully today he'll have a better, uh, better finish. Not after that start. All right, this is the number one seed, all the way back from, back from Missouri, up. Ryan Burks. Qualified first with 661. Urethane looks like it's the ball of choice today, pitch block. Championship match is on the fresh. This guy drove 500 miles just for King of the Hill this week. Second frame. So Eric qualified second with 640 in qualifying. We had 39 players. Top 31 made match play with 481 tonight. Third frame. Let's see if you can get something started here. Through the nose again. That's cool. All right, Burke's up here in the third, working on a double. looking for his sixth title at Seanstermans.com. Five previous titles all came here at Inman's and Valpo. Check that in. Four in Valpo, one in Dyer. He's currently ranked 14th on the all-time titles list with five. Let's see that in Seanstermans.com. Had the high game of the night in qualifying with 243 in game two. Not a good start right now. Got a chance. No. Alright, he's right on pace for that 103. Oh, Sean Quinn has just joined us in the commentary booth. So is he on route to 
be lower than his 103 the last time he was in the finals? I think he's trying to shoot average in his TV finals. Oh, he's right on pace. He's going to be well above now. So this guy throwing the ball right now is a machine just... He's always been a machine. Yeah, I mean... This guy goes away, goes back home to Florida, comes back like nothing's ever changed. Missouri. Missouri? Missouri. He's Missouri. I'm yes. thinking of those other guys from Florida that come up here. You're thinking like Pete Virgos, the other guys from Yeah, Cincinnati. Dakota Daniels. Dakota. Uh, Mitch Kadish. Mitch Kadish, yes. Alright, six frames. Oh, we got the double. Definitely gonna be over 103. But we had technical difficulties on that. Hey, nobody saw those technical difficulties because I paused the video. Oh, okay, so well, it was down on lane two. <laughs> uh, Alright, seventh frame, working on a double. Making a triple. Pitch black, I already covered that. Alright, so the path to the final sponsored by AboveAllBowling.com. Ryan Burks was number one seed. He got a buy in the first round. And then he beat Joey Burks, Jacob Glass, and here he is in the finals. It's, you know, when was the last time a number one seed was in the final this year? You can look that up on SeanStermans.com. <laughs> so that was the Path to the Final, sponsored by AboveAllBowling.com. It's throwing your thing, bro. All right, Eric's Path to the Finals. He beat Curtis Vild in round of 31. Steve Securius by Curious, something like that. <laughs> Round of 16. Kevin Mikulowski in the round of 8. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> More technical difficulties. In the booth. For the books. And Nick Lopez in the final four. <laughs> the Nick went a little sour. He, was, he, he almost ripped his shirt. I think it's a trend for all CCSJ players that they like to bite and rip the shoes. I don't know what it is about them guys. I don't know. We should talk to the coaching staff. Kevin Mikulowski is still here. Do you think your son is on that path? <laughs> Most definitely. Alright, ninth frame. Uh-oh. Where are we at on this match? Pretty close? Could be if something happens in this frame. Well, it could be. It's the last game against Jacob Glass. They tied. They tied, yes. They won the roll off. Uh -oh. oh, trouble. Alright, so Eric can uh, max he out at 194. Well, if he misses this, then he's got a chance, but. Picks the spare up. He's basically won his sixth title. Even if he would have missed that, he still was ahead. Well, I'm glad somebody could do the math around here. <laughs> well, we missed that last shot due hey, to technical difficulties. Burks, can we get you jumping over to the uh, no. ball turns again? Can we get you to jump it over? <laughs> we'll have to find that video on youtube.com slash bowling tournaments. And, and he didn't even win the tournament. It was Dakota who won and so it was Dakota against Burks? No, the, no. Burks was down there pop bowl and he had a couple of cocktails. Uh, and Dakota went, that's when he ran and jumped off the line. So look for the Dakota Daniels sometime last, last summer, summer, summer 2017. So Ryan Burks is going to win his sixth title here. Moves up on the all time list. Mm hmm. Let's see, six behind G now. <laughs> Yeah, Gene's at 12. 
Burbage 11? Burbage 11, Gary Clark at 8. Mm. Gary Clark moves solely into third place last week. <laughs> Burks finishes with 2.30. And Eric's going to be well above his uh, oh, yeah. last time he was on the TV. That average is going up. Mm-hmm. Nope, didn't cycle. Oh, Technical good. difficulty. <clears throat> What do they say? The fill balls always strike? They do. <laughs> if he would have showed up the first four frames, it would have been a match. Yeah, we would have been a first little loss. So right now he's probably going to lose by about, what, 44 pins? Yes, That's yes, four. First four frames. It would have been a tie game. Yeah. Spares win games, people. Yes, they do. Especially on this hard shot tonight. I don't know, 230, 190 before. Number open. six. Is that number six? That is number we're, six. We're talking on the live. I just don't worry about it. I'll talk to you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> 230 to 194. Let's send it down to the GOAT, Sean Quinn, for an interview. We're on. All right, we're back here live at Inman's. I've taken a couple weeks off of break because I've been injured. The GOAT. The GOAT. All right, Eric, so before the match started, your brother came up to me and was like, hey, his average on the TV final is going to end So he's like, do you think he's going to go better than I'm like, I'm watching him bully it. But then when I looked at your first four frames, were you thinking you were going to be back at that average at that little yeah. one all three? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then he figured out it was fresh, turned it around, made a little run here at Mr. Burks. So was it $100? Or yep, $100. $100 tonight for second place? Thanks. When was the last time number one and number two seed bowling? Uh, Gary Clark Sr. and Mitch Kadick. Oh, that's been a, a couple years ago, couple years yes. Right, YouTube.com slash bowling right. tournaments. Bowling, and your average is up to about 150 in the 149 in the final? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's clicked on. Yeah, it's clicked on. All right, we're here with the winner tonight, Mr. Ryan Burks. Burks traveled a little bit away to come out here. 500 miles. 500 miles. Just for this. <clears throat> that really. is a lie because he's in town to bowl the regional. He was like, hey, there was five tournaments, so I drove up this weekend to bowl. And lo and behold, he drives up and wins his sixth King of the Hill. Oh, so I need to go the CCSJ match between you and Jacob Blitz. Mm-hmm. There's now, two of them tonight. I bowled Joe, too. Well, Joey was not count because he kicked his ass. Oh. So for glass, you took your shoes. I did. I thought I was, I thought I was done. You never say never. Glass deserved to win that match. He but did. He almost rolled a two pin. He almost rolled a better two pin bowler doesn't you. always win. <clears throat> so after you beat glass, did you feel like this was going to be a little bit of cake block for you? Uh, I thought my look on the fresh was better. Yes, being that I stayed with uh, the trusty pitch black all night. I think you're the only guy throwing your thing tonight, too. Was I? I think so. Definitely an advantage for the pair. You know, the topography of this place and uh, the way this pattern is, it just, I didn't have to move. It suits his game. Yeah, I didn't have to move that much and just adjust the speed a little bit, pair to pair, and it was good enough for the W. So you're going to drive 500 miles next week for your free entry? (laughs) I don't think so. I might donate that or save it if I can. Save it the rest of the summer. Save it the rest of the summer. Oh, well, snap. $200, brother. Thank you. <clears throat> and he, the regional? he adds a notch to his. A notch. Yes. He's already got one. but yes. Oh. So did you give him five and that's number six of those? No, you get one. Oh, you only get one? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Take it then. They're expensive, but this is Ryan Burks. <laughs> Put a notch on it in the back. We could do that. You know what's funny? Before we end, up, end off here, Jacob Brower. Was like, hey, who? Who's exactly? Who's this guy in the blue shirt? He's a great bowler. And me and Sean each other were like, "Are you a dumb fuck? Where, where have you been?" He goes, I, "I don't know who he is." We we almost slapped him. It was like a big slap. Hopefully, I move back up here and uh, people won't forget. Hopefully. Well, I think he left, but he wouldn't have forgot who you were after tonight, brother. Maybe I should uh, challenge him to a grudge match, and then I'll never forget. Oh. Or I might just no show. Yeah, you are known for leave, that too. Yeah, leave my banner up. Your banner's up there. Like, he's zooming in. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a footprint on it. 
it, it's got a footprint. Size, a size 12 footprint. Size 14. Courtesy of the king. <laughs> Ryan Burks, where you at, buddy? I answered your challenge. You wanted payback. Today's your day. You're not getting paid, I see, because nobody's here. Nobody's around. So, Burks, I've got a new name for you. It's Mr. No Show number two. Do you know what happens to guys named Mr. No Show? Come with me. So, I don't care if you're in Kokomo or wherever. It got put up very fast, but it's coming down really slow. Thank you guys. Good bowling tonight.